If you're planning to take the FRM level 2 exam in 2025, but you're feeling overwhelmed and you don't know where to begin, then this video is for you. You might be wondering, how do I manage such a big syllabus? How should I prepare? And which exam date should I pick? May, August or November. In this video, I'll guide you the step-by-step -step on how to prepare for FRM level 2 exam. The strategy that I'm sharing has helped hundreds of students pass their exam on their first try. And I'm confident it will also work for you too. So stay with me until the end of the video and get all the tips and resources that you need to succeed in this exam. Hi everyone, this is Ganesh Nayak. I'm the founder of Intelligence. We help thousands of students pass professional exams like CFA, FRM and SCR. Today, we'll be focusing on helping you prepare for FRM Level 2 with a clear and simple roadmap. The FRM Level 2 exam is a next big step after your FRM Level 1, testing your ability to apply the concepts that you've learned. Now, the biggest question that will come to you is that which is the best attempt that I should go, May, August or November? I will suggest going for August or November and I'll tell you why. Now we are sitting in February. If you plan to go for May 2025 attempt, you only have around 3.5 to 4 months. You can clear the exam, but I would not suggest if you're working professional or you're full-time engaged somewhere else, you might not be able to dedicate the time. But if you're a student and able to dedicate five hours per day, you can go for the May exam. If not, why risk your chance of going for the May attempt? Instead, go for the August or the November attempt, which will give you an ample time to prepare for the exam. Now then, which is the best option to offer? The answer is very simple. If you can dedicate two hours every single day in a weekday and four hours on weekend, then go for August attempt. If you have much lesser time to dedicate, your safer option is to go for November attempt. Now see, FRM level 1 and level 2 are two different stories. Unlike FRM level 1, where we had only 4 books and 62 chapters, in level 2, you have 6 books and almost 100 plus chapters. If you don't properly plan your studies, you will only be able to complete your syllabus the day before the actual exam because of the vast curriculum. The exam also has around 80 questions which you have to finish in 4 hours. So having a strong plan is very, very important. If you start too early, you might lose focus or forget what you've already learned. 6 to 8 months of focus preparation is the sweet spot. Let's talk about the August 2025 attempt, considering you're starting from Feb. You have six months to prepare for the exam. From this, the first five months will be dedicated to completing the portion, reading and solving the question. The last month should be dedicated to revision, practice and mock solving. Now, there are total 100 plus chapters in FRM level 2. Your target should be to complete 20 chapters per month, effectively five chapters per week. Let's break down how your week will look like. On weekdays, you'll focus on completing five chapters, watching their videos, reading the book. And on weekends, you should be practicing and solving the questions from all of those five chapters. So overall, in the week, you'll be able to complete five chapters with reading and with solving. At this rate, by the end of June, you will be easily able to complete the entire syllabus. Now we are in July, which is mainly for revision, practice and mock papers. Here's how you should plan your July month. July is all about revision. Your target should be to revise a minimum of three times in the entire July and the initial days of August. After your first revision, you should attempt sectional tests, which is nothing but the entire bookwise test and solve them. After the second revision, you can focus on solving important chapters and important questions. And after third revision, you are in a good spot to go for the mock exams. Your aim should be to solve all your mocks by early August and three to five days before your exam, you should do your final revision. While starting your preparation, you should start with liquidity risk and then move on to operation risk because both these books cover almost 50% of the overall curriculum and then move to credit, market, investment and lastly do the current issues. To make your life easier, we have created a chapter wise study plan to their exact order. Comment FRM for the link. Let's talk about the November 2025 attempt considering you're starting from Feb. Now you have nine months to prepare for the exam. With more time, you'll be able to divide the curriculum accordingly. The first seven months should be dedicated to completing the portion. That means reading, watching the video and solving the question. And the last two months, September, October, should be dedicated to revision, practice and mock solvings. Consider this, your target should be to complete 15 chapters per month, effectively four chapters per week, similar to the August attempt. On weekdays, you have to follow on completing four chapters, watching the video, reading the textbook. And on weekends, you should practice and solve questions from all of these four chapters together. By the end of August, you will be easily able to complete our entire syllabus. Now we are in September and we have two months to focus on revision practice and mock solving. Here's how you should divide your entire two months before the exam date. Your target should be to revise a minimum of four times 
in the entire two months period. After you complete your first revision, you should attempt sectional tests, which is nothing but your bookwise test, and solve them. After your second revision, you should go and focus on important chapters and important concepts and solve them again. And the third revision, you are in a very good shape to go for the mock papers. Your aim should be to solve all the mocks by early November. Now, and then you have a few days left to do your final revision before your exam. Now, students, a few important things that you should note. In your last month before your exam, your focus should be to only do revision. Next, create flashcards for important formulas like VAR, grid spread, key ratios. These quick references will help you to reinforce your memory. Next, revisit key readings, especially credit risk and more complex topics like your liquidity risk and operation risk. Solve additional two to three mocks if the time permits. And friends, my suggestion, focus on calculation based questions also. Why? Because in the November 2024 exam, CARP was heavily testing on the calculation based question. Active recall is a great technique for testing your understanding. Quiz yourself on the material, work on the area where you feel you are less confident. For the study material, stick to Kaplan Switcher and if you found certain topics difficult, then go to GARP official book. Use intelligence for comprehensive resources including practice questions and videos for detailed explanation. Lastly, very important tip, on the exam day, manage your time wisely. Don't spend too much time on a single question. Mark your tough question, flag them and return to them later. Preparing for FRM level 2 exam is not a small feat, but you need to have a clear plan and consistent effort, then only you can achieve it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or need more guidance, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to us directly. Don't forget to share this video with your friends who are preparing for the exam. Let us conquer FRM level 2 together.